Were we finished with that? Yes, you are. You finished with what you need to do? Yes, you are. All right, excellent. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we had an extra couple of minutes um, just to allow the court administration to try and fix this tech problem. I guess they did. Good to go. All right. Let's bring in, uh, let's bring in the jury. Your Honor, did you get the message about the... Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll start doing that. I don't know how they picked it up. because I didn't know we needed to turn ours off either, so we'll make, be more well, careful. Well, we're not... Well, maybe. But, I mean, we're not live streaming it, so I don't know how it got picked up. But thank you. Yes, we can, the witness can come back up on the witness stand. Adriana? Yes, sir. Tell us to wait a second just until the witness before the jury. Uh, Please rise if you're prepared. Thank you, folks. Please have a seat. The record, will show the, the record will show the presence of all the jurors, counsel, and the defendant. The witness is back on the witness stand. The witness, sir, you're still under oath. Tell the truth that you took this morning. That still is in effect at this time. Okay? Well, good. And whenever you're ready, Ms. Larkin, you can continue the cross-examination. I want you to take a look at what's been marked as Defense Exhibit I. If we could get counsel table and the witness to take a look at that. Quiero que usted vea lo que ha sido marcado como elemento prueba de cargo I. An interpreter did not hear the second part. I please take a look at Defense Exhibit I. Exhibit I. I. Yes. Can you see that on your screen? Puede ver el elemento de cargo en la pantalla, señor. Yes. And we were talking earlier about those photographs that somebody showed you to see if you could identify the other person who you say was in this group with you. Are y, these those photographs? Y estábamos hablando antes este, sobre, una, sobre unas fotos que este, le dieron a usted para ver si usted podía identificar a las otras personas que estaban en el grupo con usted. ¿Reconoce esta foto, señor? No. You don't recognize being shown this photograph? Usted no reconoce que le mostraron esta foto? Yes, it was shown to me. Okay. And is that your signature on the photograph? Es la firma de usted en la foto, señor. And, yes. that's, and that's your statement saying, I don't recognize this person. Is that correct? Y esa declaración abajo es, este, es algo que usted escribió donde usted puso no, recon no conozco a esta persona. Yes. And then underneath that I'm scrolling. There's another image of another person, right? Y luego abajo de eso, y sí, estoy bajando. Um, this, hay otra imagen de otra persona, ¿correcto? Yes. And it's the same thing. Your signature is on there and your statement that you don't recognize that person. Y la misma cosa, ahí está su firma y una declaración que usted puso diciendo que usted no reconoce a esta persona. ¿Correcto? Yes. And then the next page, again, there's an image of a third person, right? Y luego la siguiente página, otra vez hay una imagen de una tercera persona. ¿Correcto? Yes. And again, your signature and your statement that you don't recognize that person either. Y otra vez su firma y una declaración que usted puso ahí diciendo que no reconoce a esta persona. ¿Correcto? Is that a yes? Quería decir sí, señor. No. I don't know that person, no. Okay. And that is your signature and that is your statement saying that you don't recognize that person. Y ahí está su firma y ahí está una declaración que usted puso diciendo que usted no conoce a esa persona que, que tampoco la reconoce, ¿correcto? Sí. Correct. 
And then there's a fourth image of another person. Same thing with that person, right? Y luego hay una cuarta imagen este, de una cuarta persona y la misma cosa con esa imagen, ¿correcto? Correct. And then there's a fifth person, same thing. Signature and your statement that you don't recognize that fifth person. Y luego hay una quinta persona, misma cosa. Usted firmó y luego puso una declaración diciendo que no reconoce a la persona, ¿correcto? Yes. There's a sixth person, same story with the sixth person, right? Y luego hay una sexta persona, misma historia con esa sexta persona, ¿correcto? Correct. And then there's a picture of three women and same thing. You say you don't recognize them either with a signature there, correct? Y luego hay una foto de tres mujeres y la misma cosa. Usted este, firmó y luego puso una declaración diciendo que no reconoce a estas personas, ¿correcto? Correct. And then finally, there's the last page here with all six of the men together. Is that right? Y luego, por fin, en la última página, este es una foto de las seis hombres todos juntos. Los seis hombres todos juntos. Este, ¿Cierto? Yes. Okay. And so, when you say that you were shown photos, are these the photos that you were shown to see if you could identify the other person who was with you? If interpreter may have repetition on person or persons. Now I don't remember. When you say you were shown photos by law enforcement to see if you could identify another person who was with you, are these those photos? Entonces, cuando usted dice que le mostraron fotos para ver si usted podía identificar alguna otra persona que estaba con usted, estas son las fotos a que se estaba refiriendo usted, señor. I don't understand. These are the photos that the detective showed you to see if you could identify somebody. Is that right? Estas son las fotos que el detective le mostró a usted para ver si usted podía identificar a alguien. ¿Correcto? Sí. Yes. We'd move to admit the exhibit, exhibit I. I understand the evidentiary value of exhibit I into evidence. The witness has laid foundation. He's testified he looked at these photos and he could not identify the people who are in the photos. That's only relevant if the people are relevant to something. So. Yes. I mean, otherwise, the record is could be the equivalent of he was just shown some random grouping of nine people and he doesn't know any of them. So what? So only if it's relevant to something. So what's the relevance? I mean, I don't know who these people are. I don't know what the relevance is. Well, and we're going to lay foundation with that with other witnesses, but one of the other people is a person who this witness testified was a member of this group and was with him. All right. Then in that case, the objection is over. Do you have any other objection? They're going to lay foundation with another witness, and so can we just withhold ruling until we have another witness to lay any additional foundation? And, Judge, we laid the foundation with this witness. This witness testified that... He was told someone by the name of Ramon was in this group of people, and he said, oh, yes, I remember that person. That person was with us. Ramon is in these photographs, right, and the, the witness could Objection is overruled. I mean, <clears throat> objection is overruled. Is this marked as an exhibit number? It's I. I, I is admitted. Thank you. And I apologize to the court, but when he sits back, when the witness sits back, I can't see his face at all. I'd ask that he be scooted up to the table so we can observe him. Thank you, Judge. Is that better? I'm getting his face up to here. All right, let's keep going. Okay. He's <laughs> about... Oh, yeah, Louis, maybe you can raise there the seat. Okay. Much better. Thank you, Thank Judge. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that suggestion. And, Valeria, you can take that off the screen. Thanks. And so 
You told investigators in this case that you knew someone or you recognized someone who was in the group and that was this person named Ramon, right? Ahora, entonces usted les dijo a los investigadores del caso que usted conocía a alguien o que reconocía a alguien que formaba parte del grupo y esa persona se llamaba Ramon, ¿cierto? No. No. So right before we left for lunch, you testified that you had a conversation with investigators and there was a person who accompanied you in this group and his name was Ramon and that that person was with you. You testified to that before lunch. Do you remember that testimony? Justo antes del almuerzo, usted había testificado que había tenido una conversación con unos investigadores diciendo que este, había una persona en el grupo que usted reconoció y que esa persona fue Ramón. ¿Usted se acuerda de ese testimonio? No. You don't remember telling us that before we took the lunch break. Usted no se acuerda de habernos dicho eso antes de, del descanso del almuerzo. No. Okay. So, when you met with Detective Barba and Sheriff Hathaway, they told you that there might be another person in this group, or they gave you a name of a person, and they asked you if you recognized the name or if you knew that person. Do you recall them doing that? Ahora, cuando usted se reunió con el, el detective Barba y el sheriff Hathaway, ellos le dijeron que quizá había otra persona, este, o, eh, o, y le dieron un nombre, este, que um, dijeron que quizá usted reconocería o conocería. ¿Usted se acuerda de eso? No. I don't remember. You don't remember telling me before we broke for lunch that you recognized the name Ramon and that that was somebody who was traveling in the group with you. Usted no se acuerda que antes de la hora del almuerzo, usted me había dicho que usted reconocía el nombre de Ramon, que fue que el Ramon este fue alguien que estaba viajando con ustedes, con usted. I don't remember. Do you have problems with your memory? Señor, ¿tiene usted problemas con su memoria? Sí. Yes. What kinds of problems? ¿Qué clase de problemas, señor? Pues que me asustaba. I was very scared. I was scared. Were you scared before lunch when I was asking you questions? Estaba usted asustado antes de la hora del almuerzo cuando yo le estaba haciendo preguntas a usted. Sí. Yes. You're scared just sitting here testifying. Tiene miedo sent estar sentado aquí dando testimonio a usted. Sí. Yes. And you're so scared that you can't remember what you testified to just before lunch. Y usted está tan asustado que no se acuerda hasta a qué fue que usted este, dio, uh, uh, que dio testimonio ayer, uh, hoy por la tarde antes del almuerzo. Que no se acuerda. No. So you're not so scared testifying that you can't remember what you talked about before lunch, but you're telling me that you don't remember talking about this before lunch. Así que no está tan asustado. Hmm. You know what? If the interpreter may have repetition, Your Honor. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Witnesses answered this question three or four times. Ask another question. Let's move on. All right. You said that when you encountered Border Patrol, you, everybody ran, and you dropped your backpack. Do you remember that testimony? Ahora, usted dijo que cuando, se, cuando ustedes se encontraron con el Border Patrol, todo el mundo salió corriendo y que usted este, dejó caer, dejó caer este, su mochila. ¿Se acuerda de ese sí. testimonio? Yes. Did Gabriel drop his backpack? Gabriel también dejó este, que se cayera la mochila de él. La agua, it was the water that we threw out. How were you carrying the water? ¿Cómo es que estaban car cargando el agua? Inside the backpacks. And when you encountered Border Patrol and you ran, you said you dropped the water, right? 
Entonces, este, cuando ustedes se, se encontraron con la patrulla fronteriza eh, y corrieron, di, dijo usted que, este, que tiraron el agua, ¿correcto? Correct. Did you drop the backpack as well? También tiraron este, las mochilas, o tiró usted la mochila también. No. So you took the water out of the backpack, and you dropped the water? Entonces sacó el agua de la mochila y luego tiró el agua. Sí. Yes. You had time to do that while you were running away from Border Patrol? Tenía tiempo para, tuvo tiempo usted para hacer eso mientras estaba este, huyendo de la patrulla fronteriza? Ya que habíamos descansado también. Yeah. After we rested a little, uh, we, we, after we rested a little bit because we couldn't walk anymore. Okay, my question was: You had time to take water out of the backpack and drop it before you ran from border patrol. Mi pregunta fue que si usted tenía tiempo para sacar el agua de la mochila y luego tirar el agua antes de que usted saliera corriendo del Border Patrol. Porque ya había pasado el carro. Ya había escuchado que ya había pasado el carro. Because the car had passed, we heard that it, you, could, it, 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 you could hear that the car had passed. So you didn't run from Border Patrol when you heard the car. You waited until the Border Patrol car passed you before you ran. Entonces... Ustedes no este, empezaron a correr el momento en que escucharon eh, el, el Border Patrol. Esperaron hasta que este, el Border Patrol pasara para correr, ¿es cierto? Sí. Yes. And so, why did you decide to get rid of your water if you didn't need to run away from Border Patrol? Entonces, ¿por qué fue que usted decidió tirar el agua si no necesitaba huir del Border Patrol? Porque venía cansada, estaba cansada y ya no podía. Because I was tired and I couldn't, I couldn't anymore. So you just left all of your water? Y dejó, entonces dejó así todo el agua. Solo un poquito yo agarré para mojarme los labios. I just kept a little bit with me so that I could wet my lips. So you didn't leave all of your water? Entonces no dejó todo el agua. No. No. How much water did you keep? ¿Cuánta agua fue? Que ¿Usted se quedó? ¿Qué cantidad de una, agua? Una a little bottle. Okay, that was it. Okay, so uh, you did... One second. If, if interpreter could get repetition, please. Usted dijo una botella y luego dijo otra cosa. Como un, una botellita de Gatorade. One, one small bottle of Gatorade. That was what it was like of water. So you did have water with you, correct? Entonces sí tenía agua con usted, ¿correcto? Yes. And you and Gabriel then, because Border Patrol had already passed, did you run somewhere or did you walk? Entonces, usted y Gabriel, tomando, Gabriel, tomando en cuenta que este, el, el Border Patrol ya había pasado, ustedes corrieron a un lugar o caminaron a un lugar? After we ran, we started walk. We walked a little bit because we couldn't run anymore. Why were you running? Porque es que estaban corriendo. Porque pensaban que los iban a seguir. Because we thought that we were going to be followed. So you wanted to put some distance between yourself and the border patrol car that you saw. Is that Así what you're que saying? Querían distanciarse entre usted y um, uh, el, el patrullero del Border Patrol, ¿correcto? Yes. And was it your intention then to go back to Mexico? Entonces, ¿fue la intención de usted volver a México? Sí. Yes. And you and Gabriel are just the two of you when this incident happens, is that right? Y en ese momento usted y Gabriel están solos cuando sucedió el incidente, ¿correcto? Sí. Yes. How long did you run before you started to walk? How much time? ¿Cuánto tiempo corrió antes de empezar a caminar? ¿Cuánto tiempo? And I'm talking about running from Border Patrol. Y me refiero a caminar de del Border Patrol. Como 
Like 10 minutes. So you ran for about 10 minutes and then you started walking? Así que corrió como 10 minutos y luego empezó a caminar. Yes. Did you stop to rest at some point? En algún momento se paró para descansar. Sí. Yes. When the shooting took place, were you running or walking or resting? What were you doing right before the shooting took place? Cuando sucedió, eh, lo, cuando salieron, empezaron los, este, los tiros, ¿qué estaban haciendo justo antes de los dispara, disparos? Descansando, caminando, caminando parar, eh. car, corriendo, perdón, em, si puede empezar de nuevo. Caminando. Sí. Y este, despacio porque venía, venía mal, venía este, como queriendo vomitar. We were walking, and we were walking slowly because we weren't doing very well. I, for one, wanted to vomit. I, was want I, had I wanted to vomit. Okay. I think, so you got sick before this shooting took place. Is that right? Entonces, usted se enfermó antes de los disparos, ¿cierto? Sí. Yes. And you previously met with the prosecution in this case, right? On a number of different occasions, correct? Y usted anteriormente se había reunido con la fiscalía en este caso, este, en varias ocasiones, ¿cierto? No. no. I'm asking about the folks who are sitting at this table. You've met with them before, correct? Estoy hablando de las personas que están sentadas aquí en esta mesa. Usted ya ha hablado con ellos antes, ¿verdad? Antes, sí. Before, yes. Do you recall telling the prosecution that you drank water out of a trough right before this shooting took place? ¿Usted recuerda haberle dicho a los fiscales que usted se paró y se tomó un tiempo para tomar agua de un, be de un bebedero antes de seguir? Sí. Yes. But your testimony today is that you had water with you. Is that correct? Pero ahorita está diciendo su testimonio es que usted traía agua. Traía poquito y ya se me había terminado. I had a little bit and I had already finished it. So now you're saying you drank all your water and then you drank out of a trough. Entonces usted está diciendo que ya se había tomado todo el agua y después tomó de un bebedero. Sí. Yes. You're absolutely sure that it's just you and Gabriel when the shooting takes place. Is that right? Está usted absolutamente seguro que eran nomás usted y Gabriela a la hora de los disparos, sí. ¿verdad? Sí. Yes, yes. Nobody else is around, right? No había nadie más alrededor. No. You said that you were next to, or you were near a house when this shooting took place. Is that correct? Usted dijo que estaba enseguida o cerca de una casa cuando se dieron los disparos, ¿es correcto? Casa no miré. I didn't see a house. In your earlier testimony, I heard you say there was a house with pine trees. You don't remember saying that earlier today? <coughs> Más temprano, hoy, usted dijo que había visto una casa con unos pinos. Atrás. No habían sido los disparos todavía in the back, and the shots hadn't been fired yet. But at this location where the shots are fired, there's a house. That's what you testified to earlier, right? A house with pines. Pero en este, en esta, en este lugar donde se dieron los disparos, había una casa con pinos. Así fue lo que dijo para más atrás, temprano. Para atrás. Para atrás, antes de que fueran los disparos. Antes de que fueran los disparos, fue la... Before, before the shots were fired, that's where I said, behind there, there was the house uh, with, we had passed by a house with the pine trees. How long after you passed by that house with the pine tree before the shooting started? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasó desde que usted pasó ahí por la casa de los pinos a los disparos? It wasn't long, just about five, five, six minutes. 
And you were walking, right? Y usted iba caminando. caminando. Walking. And then you stopped to rest, right? Y luego se detuvieron a descansar. Sí. Yes. How far away was the house from you when you stopped to rest? ¿Qué tan lejos le quedaba la casa cuando ustedes se pararon a descansar? About 10, 15 meters. 10 or 15 meters. De 10 a 15 metros. Sí. Yes. Can you show me with your hands approximately how big a meter is? Me puede, mostrar, me puede enseñar ahí sí con sus manos más o menos cuánto es un metro. Un metro. ¿Mm? Pues acá arribita. Acá arribita. Así. Like this. So this, this, something like this is about a meter? Is that what you're saying? Más o menos esta distancia, así, sí. esto es un metro. So like five times this to where we had drank the water. So what I'm asking you is when you're, the shots are fired, I asked you how far away is this house with the pine tree? And you said about 10 meters. Is that right? <clears throat> A ver, lo que yo le estoy preguntando es, cuando los disparos, eh, la casa con los pinos, ¿qué tan retirada estaba? Y usted dijo 10 metros, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Okay, so you're about 10 meters away from a house when shots are firing at you. Entonces estaba usted como a unos 10 metros de distancia de, la ca de una casa cuando les empezaron a disparar. Sí. Yes. Okay. Were you near a road when this happened? Estaba usted cerca de, un, de una calle cuando esto pasó. I could see the, the road in front of me. Was that the road, I think you described it previously, as the road that Border Patrol uses to go to the end of the wall? Is that the road you're talking about? Esa es la calle, creo que usted la describió como que esa era la calle que usa el Border Patrol para ir a donde termina el muro. Esa es la calle sí. de la que habla. Sí. Yes. So you're next to a road that Border Patrol uses to get to the end of the wall when the shooting takes place, correct? Entonces, usted está al lado de una calle, la calle que el borde patrol usa para llegar al final del muro a la hora de los, de los disparos, ¿correcto? Sí. Yes. And 10 meters away from a house. Y a 10 metros de distancia de una casa. Sí. Yes. Are you near the border wall when this happens? ¿Está usted cerca del muro de la frontera cuando esto pasó? Como a unos dos campos de fútbol retirados. Like about uh, two football fields away. Okay, let me ask you this. From where you're standing when the shooting happens, you can see the border wall, correct? A ver, le voy a preguntar de esta manera. ¿De dónde usted estaba parado cuando los disparos? ¿Usted alcanzaba a ver la, la, el muro? Sí. Yes. And you're saying today that that wall is about two football fields away. Y ahorita usted está diciendo que ese muro, que la frontera, el muro de la frontera, estaba como a dos campos de fútbol de distancia. Sí. Yes. When you were testifying, when the prosecution was asking you questions, you said there was also a fence in this area. Do you recall saying that? Cuando estaba dando su testimonio, cuando el fiscal estaba haciendo preguntas y usted estaba dando su testimonio, el fiscal le preguntó que si había un cerco ahí, ¿recuerda eso? Sí. Yes? What kind of a fence is that? ¿Qué tipo de cerco? Del muro. Me está preguntando de lo del... Lo del... Are you asking about the border wall, the end of the border wall? I'm asking about a fence. Did you see a fence that's not the border wall? 
Estoy hablando de un cerco, de una cerca. Usted vio una cerca, que no es el muro, que no sea el muro. Sí, pero no era el muro. Era donde estaba el caballo y me arrojaba y me lo Well, I saw one, but it wasn't at the border wall. It was where the horse was, where we were being shot at. So, do you recall again in that conversation you had with Detective Rodriguez? Do you recall him asking you if there were any fences around and you said no? Ahora, eh, ¿usted se acuerda en la conversación que usted tuvo con el detective Rodriguez? El detective Rodriguez le preguntó que si había cercos y usted dijo que no. Cuando estaba el caballo, antes estaba ya de los arrojos a balazos. Sí. When, when we were um, being shot at, I did say there was a fence there. And if I can have the witness take a look at the exhibit, it's that same transcript um, for counsel table and the witness. Can you see that on your screen? Alcanza ver eso en su pantalla. Yes. And do you see at line 16 the question where the detective asks you, are there trees, fences, buildings? Line 60? Yes, that's where it is in Spanish. Alcanza usted a ver en el renglón 16 donde dice, ahí en la calle es de tierra, hay árboles, cercos. And buildings. That's the one. Es ahí, ese, esa oración, ese renglón. Do you remember being asked that question? ¿Usted se acuerda que le hicieron a usted esa pregunta? Sí. Yes. And you responded and said no. Y usted respondió y dijo no. No. Your response that was no. no. Is that, that correct? Su respuesta fue que no. Es correcto. Yes. But today you're telling us there's a house, there's a fence, and there's the border wall, all right there in that area where the shooting happens, correct? Usted dijo que no, pero ahora nos está diciendo que había una casa, que había una, un cerco, y que estaba el muro de la frontera ahí cerca en el área, ¿verdad? Pero esto fue después de los disparos. But this right here was after the shots were fired. You think you're being asked in this interview about what happens after the shots are fired? ¿Usted cree que esa parte de la entrevista es que le preguntaron después de los disparos? Yes. So today what you're saying is these three things are in that area where the shooting is. The fence, the house, the border wall. Entonces ahora usted está diciendo que estas tres cosas estaban ahí en el área donde los disparos. Un cerco un cerco, una casa, y ahí cerca estaba el muro de la frontera. Sí. Yes. Valeria, we can take that down. Thank you. Okay. So in this shooting, you were talking earlier about how shots just start being fired. Is that right? En ese, en ese, en ese disparo, usted dijo anteriormente que nomás empezaron a, que, que, se, que empezó a haber unos disparos. ¿Es correcto? Sí. Yes. And you don't see anybody shooting at you at first. Is that right? Pero al principio usted no ve a nadie que le esté disparando a usted. No. So somebody just randomly starts firing at you and Gabriel. That's what you're saying. Entonces a alguien de repente aleatoriamente les empieza a disparar a usted y a Gabriel. Eso es lo que usted sí. está diciendo. Sí. Yes. And the house, I believe you said, was to your left when this is happening. Is that right? 
Y la casa, creo que usted dijo que la casa le quedaba a su izquierda cuando esto estaba pasando, ¿es correcto? La de los pinos. The, the one with the pine trees. Are there more houses around you when this shooting happens? Hay otras casas alrededor suyo cuando esto, cuando esto está pasando. La de los pinos, yo nomás una casa de eh, inventado que es la única que yo miré. No, it's just one house that I've talked about. That's the one that I mentioned, the one house. Okay, so that house, is that to your left when the shooting happens? Bueno, y esa casa le queda a su izquierda cuando le empiezan a disparar. De, de norte a sur sí me queda a la izquierda, pero los disparos salieron de la derecha. From north to south, yes, it was to my left. But the, what the shots were being fired from the right, were so coming from the right. The sh that's what I'm asking you. The house is to your left, and the shots are coming at you from the right. Is that correct? Eso es lo que le estoy preguntando. La casa le quedaba del lado izquierdo, pero los disparos venían del lado derecho. Sí. Correcto. Yes. And the horse is also to your right, in between you and where the shooting is coming from. Is that right? Y el caballo también le queda a la derecha. El caballo está entre usted y de donde y vienen los disparos. And the shots. Okay. And I believe... What, what was the horse doing? Tell me what the horse was doing. Y cre, dígame, por favor, ¿qué es lo que estaba haciendo el caballo? El caballo brincaba, pero ya cuando, el, 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 cuando Gabriel me dijo, me dijo, y nomás se agarró el pecho y se le... Y volteó a la y ya pues yo, nomás lo que hice fue pedirle a Dios y, y ya pensando yo que a mí me habían dicho que yo estaba golpeado también porque me caí. Un momentito. Yo corría en el rollo. Ok, me, usted se cayó. Ok. Yes, it was jumping and then that's when Gabriel told me I'm hit and he grabbed his chest and so that's when I, I prayed to God, and I, at first I thought I didn't know if I was hit, and so I fell, and that's when I ran to the wash. Okay. The horse, did anything happen to the horse? El caballo. Algo le pasó al caballo. Pues yo no supe del, del, de los sustos, del, del lo asustado y lo nervioso que ya estaba, yo no, no supe si quedó muerto o quedó vivo, pero yo lo único que le di gracias a Dios fue y, y al caballo porque me había salvado. Yes, well, I, I don't know. I was so afraid and I'm so nervous that I don't know if the, I didn't know then if the, if the horse had died or if it was alive. I just thank God and the horse for saving me. I didn't know if, if I was hit then. So you don't know if the horse died or got injured in this incident? Y entonces usted no sabe si el caballo... ¿Se murió en este incidente o si estaba lesionado? I didn't know because I didn't see him again. When you spoke with Detective Barba and Sheriff Hathaway about this incident, you told them that the horse died. You recall making that statement? Cuando usted habló con el detective Barba y con el sheriff Hathaway sobre este incidente, Usted les dijo que el caballo se había muerto, ¿se acuerda de eso? Yo dije que el caballo se había ca que el caballo caía y se volvía a levantar y reinchaba y que yo ya no supe si, si le había pegado a él porque a mí yo ya había corri corrí por el arroyo ¿sí? y que no había, no había este, yo no, ya no lo miraba el caballo si estaba muerto o estaba vivo. Nunca dije que estaba What I did say was that I saw that the horse fell and then got up and then it neighed, but I didn't know if, if he was hit because I just ran and I ran to the wash and I didn't see the horse again, so I didn't say he was dead or not. But you told Detective Barba and Sheriff Hathaway that this horse died. Pero usted le dijo al detective Barba y al sheriff Hathaway que el caballo se murió. No dije que se había muerto, que es que a lo mejor a él le había tocado que a mí me, que ya que yo este, que Dios y él me había puesto ese caballo porque si no, pues no, no lo había contado. I didn't say that he had died. I said that 
I thank God and that horse because if it hadn't been for the horse, I wouldn't be here telling the story. And can we show the counsel and the witness uh, what's on the screen? Can you see? Can you see that? I can see that. Yeah, and that is that is Exhibit H. Ese es elemento de descarga H. And that's a um, transcript of the conversation that you had with Sheriff Hathaway. Y esa es la transcripción de la conversación que tuvo usted con el Sheriff Hathaway. And if you could take a look at lines 19 and 20 and line 25. Y si puede ver, por favor, los renglones 19 y 20 y el renglón 25. And tell me if that refreshes your recollection about what you said about the horse. Dígame si eso le refresca su memoria sobre lo que usted dijo del caballo. Yo dije el caballo... No sé, que no sabía si estaba muerto o estaba vivo, porque el caballo ya me volvía a mirar, porque como si yo disparando, yo tengo que también este me día disparando a mí, pero dicen por qué. Um, I told them that I didn't know if the horse was dead or not, because I didn't see the horse again, because the, the, there was still shots being fired, and I didn't know if, if I was hit. But you did say that the horse dropped right there. You recall that? Pero usted sí dijo que el caballo ahí cayó. Sí dijo cayó, eso, sí, recuerda cayó, eso. Sí, que cayó, sí, pero que no, no sé si cayó muerto o cayó vivo. Yes, that, that it fell, that it dropped there, but I didn't know if it was dead or alive. And Valeria, we can take that down. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, can you put that right back up? <laughs> yeah. Thought I was done, but I'm not. Can you see what's on your screen there? Puede ver lo que está en la pantalla, ahí. And yes. I'm looking at line four and five. Estoy viendo renglones cuatro y cinco. Can you read that to yourself and see if that refreshes your recollection about what you told Sheriff Hathaway about the horse. Puede leer eso este, y ver si eso, a, al hacer eso, este, le refresca la memoria sobre qué es que usted le dijo al Sheriff Hathaway sobre el caballo. And did you tell Sheriff Hathaway, but the horse, he did shoot it. He must have shot it too because I saw the horse rear up backwards and then forwards. Do you recall making that statement to Sheriff Hathaway? Usted se acuerda que usted le comentó al Sheriff Hathaway que usted dijo este, pero el caballo, este, sí, de, ha de haber este, uh, uh, también pegado al caballo porque él este, brincó para arriba y luego para atrás. Do you recall making that statement? Usted se acuerda de haber hecho esa declaración. Yes. So maybe you didn't tell Sheriff Hathaway that the horse died, but you definitely said he must have shot it. He did shoot it. Entonces, usted no le dijo este al, al Sheriff Hathaway que ha de haber muerto. Uh, if, if the interpreter could have repetition, please, Your Honor. Sure. You might not have told Sheriff Hathaway that the horse died, but you did tell the Sheriff Hathaway he did shoot it, meaning the horse. The horse was shot. Puede que usted no le dijo al señor Hath el, al, uh, Sheriff Hathaway que este, el, el caballo se murió, pero sí comentó que, este, que uh, le había pegado al caballo. El caballo brincaba y que, pues, dije yo que a lo mejor este me había pegado, este, él me había salvado porque 
porque como a ver, ya cuando el, el Gabriel dijo, este, me, me dieron, yo salí corriendo y el caballo pues, siguió relinchando, brincaba para atrás y brincaba para frente, pues, y, pero ya no. Well, so the horse jumped, and I figured that I figured that he probably saved me because when um, when da, when Gabriel said I've been shot, I went running, and the horse continued to jump up and down and also neigh. When the shooting takes place, you see Gabriel fall down. Is that correct? Cuando sucede el cuando suceden los disparos, usted lo ve al Gabriel caerse, ¿cierto? Sí. Yes. And you're standing one step behind Gabriel. Oh, we can take this down, Valeria. Sorry. <laughs> you're standing one step behind Gabriel when Gabriel gets shot. Is that correct? Y cuando le dan a Gabriel, usted está parado un paso atrás de él. Sí. ¿Cierto? Yes. So you were behind him when he got shot, correct? Entonces, cuando le dieron a él, usted estaba atrás de él. Sí. Yes. And I know you said the house is to your left and the shooting's coming from your right. Where is the border wall? Y ahora yo sé que usted dijo que la casa estaba a la derecha de usted y luego los disparos venían de la derecha. De, de la derecha. ¿Dónde está el muro? Perdón. ¿El muro? The wall. Sorry. I'm just trying to figure out which direction are you facing when the shooting takes place. When Gabriel gets hit and he falls backwards, which direction are both of you facing? Lo que estoy queriendo averiguar es que la orientación de ustedes, en qué dirección estaba, venía, iban dirigidos. El momento en que este, um, le dan a Gabriel y se cae, ¿en qué dirección están? Al, al, al sur. Al to the south. You're facing south. Están, the... están este, hacia el sur. So the border wall is in front of you, correct? Entonces el muro de la frontera está delante de ustedes, ¿correcto? Sí. Yes. And it's about two football fields away, correct? Y estamos hablando de dos canchos de fútbol, ¿correcto? Sí. Una distancia de dos canchos. Sí. Yes. Okay. When Gabriel falls down, he falls over backwards, is that correct? Y cuando Gabriel se cae, se cae para atrás, ¿cierto? Yes, that's right. He falls, grabs his, his chest, and he said, I've been hit. And he falls towards you because you're behind him, correct? Y se cae hacia usted porque usted está atrás de él, ¿cierto? Sí. Yes. You could see his eyes when he fell backwards, correct? Usted podía ver los ojos de él cuando él se cayó para atrás, ¿cierto? Sí. Yes, I noticed that his eyes rolled to the back of his head like that. How did he land? Did he land on his back? Como quedó, se quedó, o sea, quedó en el suelo, este, uh, en la espalda, boca arriba. He ended up like this, head um, up. So he landed on his back. Entonces se quedó, este, en la espalda. Yes. Okay. And then you jumped over him. Correct and kept running. Y luego usted le brincó sobre él y siguió corriendo. Sí. Yes. At some point, you looked back to see the person who was shooting at Gabriel. Is that correct? En algún momento usted dio la vuelta para atrás para ver y vio al señor que estaba este uh, que le había dado al Gabriel, ¿es cierto? Sí. Yes. And how far away were you when you looked back and you saw the person? ¿Qué tan lejos estaba usted cuando usted dio la vuelta y vio para atrás y lo vio a la persona y la vio a la persona? Pues sí, como le, lo que le digo es una ya casi llegando al muro yo fue cuando volteaba para atrás ya que bajé el, el arroyo porque en el arroyo me, me iba escondiendo y yo volteaba a ver para atrás a ver si miraba. Un momentico, un momentico. So I was almost at the at the a wall. 
uh, because um, I went down into a wash and I was hiding in the wash and I was looking there. Okay. Let me break that down a little bit. So two football fields away, that's the border wall, right? Estamos hablando de este, de el, el, lo largo de dos este, canchas de fútbol, digo, dos campos de fútbol, ¿correcto? Sí. Es la distancia entre donde estaban ustedes y este, el, el muro, ¿correcto? Sí. Yes. You say you first hide in a wash, is that right? Y usted dice que primero se escondió en, um, en el arroyo, ¿cierto? Sí. Yes. And how long are you hiding in that wash? ¿Cuánto tiempo está escondiéndose en el arroyo? Iba corriendo. I was running. I was running, but along the wash. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where is the wash taking you? ¿Dónde es que lo está llevando a usted el arroyo? El arroyo, corrí, corrí, este, y yo no más le pedí a Dios y decía, Dios, Dios, ayúdame para llegar luego al muro, por favor. I was running and I was running and I was just asking God to please help me so that I could get to the wall. So you're running in the wash to try to get to the wall. My question is, at what point do you look back to see it, what's happening with Gabriel? Bueno, entonces usted está corriendo por uh, el arroyo, intentando llegar a la, al muro. Mi pregunta es, qué, ¿en qué momento da la vuelta para atrás para, este, para ver qué está pasando con Gabriel? En lo que subí de, de, del arroyo, que subí a, a lo alto, fue cuando yo volteé a ver para abajo. It's when I got out of the wash and I was higher up. That was when I turned around. Okay. So you, you can't see from inside the wash because it's low. So you no run puede ver desde adentro del, del arroyo porque estamos hablando de un lugar más abajo, ¿cierto? Sí. Yes. So you yes, run. I couldn't see anything Sorry. from the wash. So you run for a while in the wash, and then you climb out of the wash, and you look back. Entonces, es co corre un rato este, mientras está eh, por el arroyo, y luego este, sube del arroyo, trepa el arroyo, y luego da vuelta en ese momento. Sí. Yes. And you're almost at the wall at this point, correct? Y casi está en el muro en este punto, en este momento, sí. ¿cierto? Yes. How far are you from the wall when you look back? Cuando usted da la vuelta para atrás y ve qué tan lejos está del muro usted. Pues casi igual un, como una hora y medio, campo de hora y medio. Uh, it was almost the same, one or one and a half, the lengths of one, one and a half football fields, soccer fields. Okay, I'm asking about when you looked back. You said when the, when you were with Gabriel when the shooting happened, the wall is one or two or is two football fields away. When when the shooting happens, correct? Uh, ahora estoy preguntando sobre cuando es que usted dio la vuelta este para atrás. Usted mencionó que cuando estaba usted con Gabriel, la distancia entre donde estaban ustedes y este el muro este fue una distancia de como este dos campos de fútbol, ¿cierto? Sí. Yes. My question is, after you run away, the shooting happens, you're running away, you go into a wash, you climb out of a wash, now how far are you from the wall? Entonces me pregunta es, ya después de que usted se, se va corriendo, este, este, ya está sucediendo, ya están sucediendo los disparos. Usted sigue corriendo, usted baja al arroyo, sube del arroyo. Ahora, ya en ese momento, ¿qué tan lejos está usted del muro? Me faltaba como medio, medio campo para llegar. About a half of a, of a soccer field. So you're much closer to the wall when you look back, correct? Está mucho más cerca este a la pared ya cuando usted da la vuelta para atrás para ver. Yes. How far away was Gabriel when you looked back? Cuando usted dio la vuelta para atrás, ¿qué tan lejos estaba Gabriel? ¿De dónde estaba usted? Como le digo, este era un uno como un campo y medio para atrás. Like I was saying. He was about a, a soccer field and a half away okay. when I turned around. And is that the same distance that you see the person? 
meaning not Gabriel, the shooter. Y así es la misma distancia de donde está usted y la otra persona. Y cuando digo persona, me refiero no a Gabriel, sino al este, el, el que estaba disparando. Tirador. El tirador este no lo miré. The shooter, cuando right. estaban tirando no lo miré. Miré, la, miré una persona cuando, cuando yo volteé a ver para atrás, ya miré donde ya, 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 yo había salido corriendo, donde ya estaba Gabriel, yo miré la persona que andaba ahí nomás. Uh, the shooter, I didn't see him um, I, I, when the shoots, shots were off, going off. I didn't see, I didn't see Gabriel, and I didn't see the shooter until um, after the shots and I had run away. That's what I'm asking. How far away are you when you see the shooter? Si es lo que estoy preguntando, ¿qué tan lejos está usted de Gabriel, digo, este, de cuando usted ve el tirador? De como por este, a un y medio por ahí de, de campo. One and a half okay. soccer fields. And is that person, the person who you believe is the shooter, is he standing over Gabriel's body? Y esa persona, la persona que usted cree que es este, el tirador, está encima del, del cadáver de Gabriel. He was there close. How close? Que tan cerca. Being that I was so scared and that I was so frightened, I really don't remember well. Okay, but he was very close to where Gabriel was. Is that correct? Está bien, pero estaba muy cerca de donde estaba este Gabriel, ¿cierto? Yes. And I think with Detective Rodriguez, you described the shooter as standing over Gabriel's body. Do you recall that? Y se, eh, creo que cuando usted estuvo con el detective eh, Rodríguez, usted este, dijo, lo describía como que el tirador estaba parado encima del cuerpo de Gabriel. ¿Usted se acuerda de eso? Sí. Yes. Okay. You also said, I believe you described to Detective Rodríguez seeing a vehicle arrive at the end of the wall. Do you recall that? Creo que también este, usted le describió al detective Rodríguez que usted había visto este, un vehículo que llegó al final del muro. ¿Usted se acuerda de eso? Sí. Yes. So you saw a vehicle at the end of the wall when the shooting was taking place. Is that correct? Entonces usted vio un vehículo al final del muro donde, perdón, al, 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 at, the, at the end of the wall Yes. Usted este, vio un vehículo este, donde, termi donde, donde, donde termina el muro mientras este, estaban los disparos, ¿es cierto? Ya no habían disparos. At that point, there, weren't any sh sh there wasn't any shooting going on. Right. My question is, when the shooting happens, so you're saying when the shooting happens, you can see the end of the wall and there's no vehicle at the end of the wall while the shooting is happening. Mi pregunta es, de acuerdo, mi pregunta es esto. Cuando, está sucediendo, cuando están sucediendo los dos paros, usted puede ver este, el final del muro y ve que no hay ningún vehículo. Sí. Yes. But when you got to the end of the wall, there was a vehicle there. Is that correct? Pero cuando usted llega al final del muro, sí había un vehículo ahí, ¿correcto? It arrived. It arrived. And I think you said that you tried to flag it down or gesture to point to where this shooting was happening. Do you recall that? Y creo que usted mencionó que intentó um, señalarle al vehículo este que, 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 estaba, que había un tirotero, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. So you did that when you got to the end of the wall, is that correct? Así que hizo eso cuando usted llegó al final del muro, ¿correcto? Correct, yes. Did you see the person in this vehicle? Did they acknowledge you in any way? What happened with the vehicle? Y usted vio a la persona, alguna persona en el vehículo, este, dieron... Uh, la, la persona en el vehículo le dio de entender que, este, que lo vio a usted. ¿Qué sucedió con el vehículo? Yo no sé si me miraron, pero este, yo sí lo miraba a ellos porque yo estaba cerquita del muro porque estaba tirado y estaba acostado. 
el susto y la, los nervios y el cansancio de tanto correr. I don't know if they were able to see me, but I did see them right at the end of the wall. Um, but I was lying flat out from, from both being scared, tired, su being super nervous. You, then you went back into Mexico, correct? Y luego ya después, oh, y ya eh, regresó a México, correcto? Sí. Yes. And when the shooting happened and you ran away, you didn't stop, right? You kept running. Y cuando sucedieron los disparos, eh, usted salió corriendo y no paró, siguió corriendo, ¿cierto? Yes. You kept running until you crossed the wall back into Mexico, correct? Usted siguió corriendo hasta que usted cruzó el muro y regresó a México, ¿correcto? Me paré antes de, 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 de como al campo y me, después de, lo, de los disparos, ya que pararon de disparar, yo, yo corrí y fue cuando subí a lo alto y fue cuando miré, pero todavía no cruzaba el muro. Well, I did stop when I'd been, when I was about a, 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 a one and a half football fields away, and that was when I got out of the wash and I looked. I did stop for that, and then I kept running. So you stopped for just a second or so to look back, is that correct? Y entonces usted par, se par, paró este un segundo o dos segundos para, um, volte, pa, para voltear, ¿cierto? Sí. Yes. How long did it take you when the shooting happens, you start running, until you get back into Mexico? How long did that take? ¿Cuánto tiempo tardó este, entre cuando suceden los disparos y este, para que usted regrese, regrese a México? Como media hora. Like a half an hour? Media 15 minutos corriendo y antes de llegar a México. If interpreter may, Your Honor. Eh, media hora o 15 minutos? Antes de llegar a, antes de llegar a, a México, a la, a la, a la, a la frontera. 15 minutos antes. Pero por so, uh, before I got to the to the border, 15 minutes, running the whole time. So it took you 15 minutes to cover a distance that's two football fields? Entonces, este, le, tardaron, le tardó 15 minutos para cubrir una distancia de dos campos de fútbol. Sí, pero tampoco no, no, no tomé tiempo porque yo lo que quería era salvar mi vida. Well, yes, but I also wasn't keeping time. What I wanted to do is I wanted to save my life. So you agree you can run over the length of a football field very quickly, right? Usted está de acuerdo que puede caminar, que uno puede correr bien rápido um, el largo de un campo de fútbol, ¿cierto? Sí. Yes. Especially if you're scared, right? Especialmente si uno tiene miedo. Yes. Especially if someone's shooting at you, right? Especialmente si alguien le está tirando balas, ¿cierto? Okay. Yes. How long does it take you to run the length of one football field, for ¿Cuánto, example? ¿Cuánto tiempo le tarda para correr el largo de un campo de fútbol, por ejemplo? A usted. No tomé tiempo yo porque no no había chance ni de voltear a ver, no me volteaba y lo que yo quería era buscar cómo 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 salir porque el muro estaba muy so, uh, well, as I said, I wasn't keeping time. Uh, what I was able to do was turn. And again, what I was trying to do was I was uh, trying to get away. And, and, and I, in addition, I had, to keep, I had to take a right and keep running. So it's not a straight line and it's not flat, correct? <coughs> Entonces no es línea recta y no es plano, ¿verdad? No es terreno plano. No. But you were still running as fast as you could, I would imagine. Pero de todos modos me imagino que usted se, seguía corriendo lo más rápido posible. Sí. Yes. Did you run directly to the end of the wall or did you run to the wall and then have to run along the wall before getting to the end? Usted corrió, usted corrió directamente al final del muro o corrió al muro y luego tuvo que correr a lo largo del muro para llegar al final. Tuve que correr a lo largo después para llegar al final. I had to run along the wall to get to the end. 
So that might be why it takes longer because you have to go around. Is that right? Entonces a lo mejor por eso le tomó tanto tiempo porque le tenía que dar toda la vuelta. Es correcto. Sí, por eso. Cruzando el arroyo, crucé todo el arroyo porque era plan de donde, de donde lo disparó el, el arroyo. Me quedaba como, como de aquí a la, a la, a la puerta. Y donde yo agarré el arroyo ya para correr el arroyo. Los disparos y el arroyo y el estaba arroyo. como de aquí a la puerta. Sí. Ok, so I had to go to the wash, start running at, um, on the wash. So where the wash was and where the shots were coming from was a distance from like here to the door. Okay. When you were running along the wall, before you go around the wall, is the wall to your right or is the wall to your left? Ahora, cuando va corriendo a lo largo del muro, ¿el muro le queda del lado derecho o del lado izquierdo? Uh, I, I don't understand on the right how, if I'm running. So you run to the wall first, right? Okay. Usted primero corre y llega al muro, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. And then, and then you have to run around it to get to the spot. You have to run along it to get to the spot where it ends, right? <sighs> Entonces, ya llegó al muro y luego tiene que correr a lo largo del muro para llegar a donde se acaba el muro. I'm running straight in front and the wall is on this side. On what side? ¿De qué lado? ¿Izquierda o derecha? On the right side. It's on your right side, okay. Did you, you never saw a weapon in this incident, is that correct? En este incidente usted nunca vio un arma, ¿correcto? No. But you heard shots, correct? Pero escuchó disparos, sí. ¿correcto? Yes. Do you remember telling Sheriff Hathaway and also Detective Raul Rodriguez that this was what you referred to as a cuerno de chivo? Do you remember that? ¿Usted recuerda haberle dicho a Sheriff Hathaway y al detective Raúl Rodríguez que usted dijo que eso eran que eso era de un cuerno de chivo? ¿Recuerda sí. eso? Yes. So you told investigators that the weapon that was used in this incident was a cuerno de chivo. Y entonces usted le dijo a los investigadores que el arma que se usó en este incidente era un cuerno de chivo. Sí. Yes. Is that a slang term for an AK-47? Eso es jerga para una AK-47. I don't understand. Um, I don't understand. When you say cuerno de chivo, what do you mean? Cuando usted dice cuerno de chivo, ¿a qué se refiere? Porque lo, 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 el sonido es diferente a una pistola. Because the sound is different from that of a gun. So you have heard the sound of a cuerno de chivo before, correct? Entonces, usted ha escuchado el sonido que emite un cuerno de chivo antes, sí. ¿correcto? Yes. And you recognize that sound. Y usted reconoce ese ruido. Sí. Yes. Because you've been present when somebody has fired this type of weapon before. Porque usted, usted ha estado ahí presente cuando alguien dispara ese tipo de armas. En las navidades he escuchado también. I've heard it in, during Chris, in, in, like Christmas. Is that a Christmas in Nogales, Sonora, Mexico? Do people fire these weapons off? En Navidad, en Nogales, Sonora, México, en las Navidades, la, la gente dispara estas, estas armas. Sí. Yes. And that's how you know what this is. Y así es como supo usted sí. que era eso. Sí. Yes. Just one moment, Your Honor. I'm sorry.
I'll tell you what, Council, it's about time for us to take our mid-afternoon recess. Why don't we do that? We'll take our recess about 2.45. We'll come back in 30 minutes at about 3.15. Again, gather in the jury room. Thank you. We rise, people forward.
Please rise and pay for forward. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. We're back on the record. All the jurors are present, counsel's present, the defendant's present. Can the witness come back on the witness stand? You can continue with your cross examination, Ms. Largan. Ms. Largan. Vamos a continuar con el contrainterrogatorio. No lo necesito. Okay. Is he ready? I don't, I don't see that. Oh, no headset? Okay, sorry. I just have a few more questions. Um, we talked about those photos that were shown to you earlier. Are, those are the only photos that investigators have shown you in this case. Is that correct? Ahora vamos a hablar de las fotos de las que hablamos hace rato. Esas son las únicas fotos que los investigadores le enseñaron a usted, correcto? Yes. Okay. So they didn't ask you to identify anybody else, correct? Y no le pidieron que identificara a nadie más, ¿verdad? No. Okay. You mentioned that you were, had drank some water out of a trough, and I just wanted to ask... <coughs> Was there anything around that trough? Describe the area where the trough was. Usted dijo hace rato que había tomado agua de un bebedero. Había algo alrededor del bebedero. ¿Me puede describir el área donde estaba el bebedero? Well, um, no, I don't know. I just, I was, I just drank the water and left, and the the drinking of the water was before the the shots were fired. How far away was that location from the location where the shots were fired, approximately? ¿Qué tan lejos o cuál era la distancia aproximadamente? Del lugar S al lugar de los disparos, aproximadamente. I don't know exactly. I didn't have the time and I didn't measure the distance. How long had you been running or walking away from Border Patrol before you drank out of this trough? ¿Cuánto tiempo llevaba usted corriendo o caminando, sacándole la, la vuelta al Border Patrol cuando usted llegó a tomar agua y al bebedero? Not too long. Not too long. I don't know, 10, probably five minutes. I didn't keep track of time. Okay. Um, <coughs> what color was the trough? Do you remember? De qué color era el bebedero? ¿Usted se acuerda? Just aluminum. It was like a threat for animals. So it was metal? De metal. Yes, aluminum. Was it standing in a field by itself? Was it in a corral? Was it next to a fence? Was there anything around it like that or was it all by itself Estaba puesto ahí nomás solo, estaba puesto así en un en un lugar plano, estaba cerca de un corral, estaba cerca de un de un cerco o estaba nomás ahí solo. No, El bebedero. There was a fence. What kind of a fence? ¿Qué tipo de cerco? Wire. Wire. Okay, so barbed wire fence? Eh, alambre pua. Yeah. yeah. No house or building nearby the trough, correct? No había ninguna casa o algún edificio ahí cerca del bebedero, correcto? I didn't see any. Okay. Going back to after the incident takes place, you go back into Mexico. Who is the first person that you told about what happened? Ahora, vamos otra vez a cuando ya cruzó de regreso a México. 
ya está usted de regreso en México. ¿Quién es la primera persona o a quién fue a la primera persona a la que le dijo lo que había pasado? Fue pues, no con otras personas, porque yo, 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 iba, yo iba buscando ayuda, nomás porque yo iba buscando ayuda. Well, I don't know the people because I don't know them. All I was looking for is I was looking for help. I was trying to get help to somebody to take me to the hospital. My question was, who is the first person that you told about what happened? Mi pregunta es, ¿quién fue a la primer persona a la que usted le dijo lo que había pasado? Mi respuesta es lo que le digo que no, yo no sé quién, quién me quiero porque yo no más sabía que yo porque yo no ya, este, del mismo susto yo ahí ya no podía ni, no traía ni esto más bien. Um, my answer is the same, the same thing. I don't know who they were. All I wanted was help because I was so afraid. My, I, I felt it in my gut. Are you talking about the people in the vehicle at the wall? Is that who you're saying? Usted se refiere a las personas que estaban ahí en el muro. Pero esas personas no me, no, no, no hablé con ellos. No, but I didn't talk to those people there, no. Okay. Where were you when you told somebody for the first time about what happened? ¿Dónde estaba usted cuando le dijo a, a alguien por primera vez lo que había pasado? En una terracería. In a dirt road. Pero la mexicana. On the Mexican side. And who did you speak to? ¿Y con quién habló? Con unas, con unas personas que, que me dije que ella me, me sacaron hasta cierta parte de la carretera también. Um, <clears throat> the people there that and and they gave me a ride to another place to another road where I can get a could get a car to go back. So you were hitchhiking essentially. Entonces básicamente usted está pidiendo right. I was asking for help. Did you go to a hospital? ¿Fue usted a un hospital? Sí. Yes. And so you told people at the hospital what happened? Y entonces usted le dijo a alguien en el hospital lo que había pasado. Dije este, a la, la persona que, que, que me atendió porque en el hospital no me quisieron atender. Me, me mandaron con otra persona. Uh, I told the person at the hospital they didn't want to take me in. They sent me to another person. Okay. And who did you tell next? Y entonces, ¿a quién le dijo después? La persona que me sobó porque era, era grave lo que yo tenía de la, porque se me había caído la tripa. Um, uh, the person that was massaging my stomach because I felt so bad because I had been so scared that my guts were all over the place. And you don't know who that person is? Y usted no sabe quién es esa persona. No. <coughs> When was the first time you told somebody who you knew what happened? ¿Cuándo fue la primera vez que usted le dijo a alguien que usted sí conocía qué fue lo que pasó? Que sí conocía quién. May the interpreter repeat the question. ¿Cuándo fue la primera vez que usted le dijo a una de las personas que usted sí conoce? a una persona conocida suya. ¿Cuándo fue la primera vez que le dijo lo que había pasado? Pues no le, yo a ninguna persona le, le, le había avisado, yo le avisé, yo avisé este, a, la, a la gente que me había dado rato, pero no la conocía. Yo les dije, me, a los que sacaron a balazo en, 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 en el caballo. Y, Uh, well, I, I didn't know, I didn't tell anybody the people that picked me up, the people that I hitched hide from, that's who I told them. I told them about the shooting and I just said uh, the gabacho did that, the American. Okay. You eventually spoke with law enforcement in this case, about this case, right? Finalmente usted habló con agentes policiales sobre este caso, ¿verdad? In Mexico. I mean here. Nowhere. I didn't speak to the police or anybody. 
You spoke with investigators in this case from here, correct? Usted habló con investigadores de este caso, investigadores de aquí, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. How did that set, take place? How did that come about? ¿Y cómo se dio eso? ¿Cómo pasó eso? I don't understand how. How did you come into contact with law enforcement in this case? ¿Cómo fue que usted llegó a tener contacto con agentes del orden público, investigadores, sobre este caso? ¿Cómo se contactaron? ¿Por qué me buscaron? Because uh, they looked for me. Who looked for you? ¿Quién, bus quién lo buscó? La familia de, de Gabriel. Gabriel's family. Gabriel's family looked for you. La familia de Gabriel lo buscó a usted? Yes. How did they know that you were with Gabriel when this took place? How did they know to look for you? ¿Cómo sabían ellos que ustedes dos, cómo sabía la familia de Gabriel que ustedes dos andaban juntos? ¿Cómo porque sabían ellos que lo tenían que buscar ya, a usted? Porque ya lo ya habíamos estado, porque estábamos trabajando y ya sabían que lo iba a buscar ahí. A buscar, veníamos a buscar el, el, el sueño americano. Because we had been working together, they knew we were working, and they knew we were coming here looking for the American dream. You testified earlier that Gabriel did not know that you were going to go meet with the smuggler that day, and that you did not know Gabriel was going to be there. Are you changing that testimony? Anteriormente usted testificó, o dio su testimonio, dijo, que, que Gabriel no sabía que usted se iba a ir a, a ver con el, con el que lo iba a contrabandear y que usted no sabía que Gabriel también iba a ir. ¿Está cambiando su historia ahora? I didn't say that. You didn't say that in court today. ¿No dijo eso hoy aquí en el tribunal? No. No. So now you're saying that Gabriel's family knew that you were going to cross with Gabriel on January 30th. 2023. They knew about that. Entonces lo que usted está diciendo es que la familia de Gabriel sabía que usted iba a cruzar con Gabriel, iban a cruzar la frontera en enero del 2023. La familia sabía. That we were going to Phoenix. They knew you were going on that day. Ellos sabían que ese día se iban a ir. No, no sabían que día los iban. They didn't know what day we were going. So then how would they know to contact you about what happened? Entonces, ¿cómo sabía la familia que se tenía que comunicar con usted para saber qué había pasado? Porque ya fue cuando ya estaba muerto, cuando ya estaba en la... En, en, que ya estaba acá lo que usted dice, ya que la gente estaba viendo lo que estaba pasando, ya la gente empezó a, a averiguar. Because that's when, because he was dead already and because they started uh, seeing all the experts and uh, things that were going on and so they started asking. Who contacted you specifically? Específicamente, ¿quién se comunicó con usted? Una persona que se llama Juan Carlos. A person named Juan Carlos. Who is that? ¿Quién es esa persona? I'm sorry, I don't know. So somebody who you don't know contacted you to talk about Gabriel. Una persona que usted no conoce se comunicó con usted para hablar de Gabriel. Um, he looked for me in, in, in my village but I didn't talk to him because I was ill. So how did he contact you? ¿Cómo se comunicó con usted? Por medio de la demás gente de ahí del pueblo a pudieron buscarme. By word of mouth with the people from the village, they from the people from the village, they started asking. So my question is, when did you speak with Juan Carlos Rodriguez? Entonces mi pregunta es, ¿Cuándo habló usted con Juan Carlos Rodríguez? Ellos me buscaron porque, este, porque la gente dijo que yo estaba, yo estaba enfermo porque me habían atacado a balazos y todo eso que yo era el que andaba. 
they started looking for me because people started talking that I was ill, that I had been attacked, that I had been uh, fired at, and so they knew that it was me, the one that was with him. But how did he contact you? Did he call you? Did he show up someday to talk to you? How did he, this person, Juan Carlos, contact you? Pero cómo se comunicó con usted, esta persona, este Juan Carlos? Cómo, espere, cómo se comunicó con usted, este Juan Carlos? Le habló por teléfono, llegó en persona. ¿Cómo se comunicó con usted? En persona. It was in person. I don't have a phone, and so they came looking for me. And the people in the village, they knew where I was, and then they came to me. They were looking for me. Okay. So Juan Carlos comes to your house someday. He just shows up and starts to talk to you about this case. Is that how this happened? Entonces, un día, llegó Juan Carlos a su casa y empezó a hablar con usted. Así fue como, como pasaron las cosas. I was still at the house with the lady that was doing the massage on me because I wasn't well yet. And that's and Juan Carlos came to talk to you at that house. Y Juan Carlos fue a hablar con usted ahí a casa de esa señora. Solo me dejó dicho que que necesitaban hablar conmigo de este lado. He just left a message that they needed to talk to me on this side. He left a message with who? Él dejó un mensaje con quién? With, with the lady that was massaging me uh, because they needed me to come to this side to identify Gabriel's body. And when you got that message, what did you do? Y cuando usted recibió ese mensaje, ¿qué hizo? I wasn't all there yet. So you didn't do anything? Entonces no hizo nada todavía. No. So then did Juan Carlos arrive another day after leaving this message? Entonces Juan Carlos llegó otro día después de que le llegó el mensaje. Ya me había este la señora José me dijo cuando que me habían dicho que que me porque si me podía dar testigo para ver a dónde estaba la para ver para testificar el cadáver. Yes, no, that's the the late the lady told me that they were looking for me to testify to ID the body. So you learned that someone was looking for someone to testify. Entonces usted supo que alguien estaba buscando a una persona para que testificara, para que diera su testimonio. Para que yo supiera dónde yo estaba, dónde yo estaba, que yo mirara dónde estaba tirado. So that I would see where he was lying where where he was. Can you clarify that for me? They were looking for you so that you could see where he was lying. What What does that mean? A, a ver, <clears throat> aclárame esto. Ellos lo estaban buscando a usted para que usted viera dónde él estaba tirado. ¿Qué, qué, qué quiere decir eso? No, porque yo venía con él, porque yo andaba con él, porque nosotros veníamos como veníamos para el norte y este, éramos los únicos que sabían que, que nosotros estábamos de, de... que éramos los dos juntos conocidos, pues, los dos que los conocíamos nomás. Because they knew that we both together were coming north because we were the only two that knew each other. Who, who's they? What do you mean? Who Cuando, knew that? ¿Quién sabía eso? Cuando dice ellos sabían, ¿quién es ellos? No, pues no sé quién es más. No, I don't know who else. You didn't tell Gabriel's family about what happened, right? They came and found you. Is that correct? Usted no le dijo a los parientes de Gabriel lo que había pasado, ¿verdad? Ellos vinieron a usted. Usted no sabía dónde vivía. No sabía dónde estaba, si vivía, porque ya había cambiado de casa donde yo estaba, donde iba con los hijos. Because I didn't know where they lived. They had moved from the house that I had met them. 
And so I didn't know where they lived. And you didn't have anyone you could ask to try to find out where they were? Y usted no tenía a quien preguntarle para averiguar dónde estaban ellos. No, porque no conocía más en México. No, because I didn't know anybody else. And you didn't go to the authorities in Mexico about this at all, did you? Y usted no fue a hablar con las autoridades en México para nada, ¿verdad? No. No. Why not? ¿Por qué no? Porque no, yo no podía hablar ni podía caminar bien. Because I wasn't no able... Because I, I wasn't well. I wasn't in my five senses. I couldn't stop vomiting. My nerves were a wreck. If I could show you what's been marked as Exhibit EE, -E, could you pop it on council table and for the witness? Le voy a enseñar lo que se marcó como elemento de prueba E, E. Ahí le va a salir en el salto. Can you see what's on your screen? ¿Puede ver lo, puede ver lo que está en la pantalla, señor? Sí. Yes. Is that Gabriel? Esa, ese señor es, es, que está ahí es el señor Gabriel. Sí, pero no traía ese radio. Yes, but he didn't have that radio. And does he, he has a radio. You see a radio with Gabriel? Tiene una radio allí. Ve que hay una radio allí con Gabriel? Yes. And Judge, we just asked to publish. Are you moving to admit it first? Or? Not yet. It's part of a bigger exhibit, but where we laid the foundation for this photograph. There are a number of photographs in the exhibit, and we lay the foundation for other ones with another witness, and then we will ask to admit. She wants to publish before it is admitted? I prefer to have it admitted. I mean, sustained. If it's not, if it's not going to be offered, if I can do a separate one. So this is a, it's a duplicate, but it's labeled JJ. So we'd move to admit, we'd move to admit JJ, and that's a, du that's a duplicate of EE -E or E, whatever, whatever. Yes, it's the same thing, but it's labeled separately. Sorry. No objection, Your Honor. All right. Uh, right. This is JJ. All right, exhibit, exhibit JJ is admitted, and you can publish it to the jury. Brenda, you can blow it up. I'm not touching the technology. <laughs> Judge, my approach to blow it up a little bit for the jurors. Thank you. Do these clothes look similar to the clothes that Gabriel was wearing when you were with him on January 30th? La ropa que está viendo en la foto parece parece parecida a la ropa que él estaba que él tenía puesto este el día que estaba usted con él 30 de enero. No. He was wearing different clothes? Llevaba ropa diferente. <coughs> No, uh, yes, but I wasn't with him. I don't know. I wasn't with him there. You described wearing tan pants when you were with Gabriel, correct? Usted describió que cuando usted estuvo con Gabriel, él llevaba pantalones color este café claro, ¿cierto? Yes. And he's wearing tan pants in this photograph as well, right? Y en esta foto lleva pantalones de color café claro, ¿correcto? Yes. Are you saying that his shirt is different? He was wearing a different shirt when he was with you? Está diciendo que la camisa es diferente que cuando estaba con usted, él llevaba una camisa diferente. Yes. His, what was, tell me about his shirt when he was with you. Explícame, cuénteme sobre la camisa que él llevaba cuando estaba él con usted. Well, 
Well, I don't remember it very well, but it wasn't like that. What about the hat? Do you remember if he was wearing that hat when he was with you? Y este y el sombrero. ¿Usted se acuerda si tenía una cachucha, un, un sombrero, este, como lo que lleva en la foto? No. No. He did not have that hat when he was with you. Cuando él estaba con usted, él no llevaba sombre, ese sombrero, ese no. esa cachucha. No. And when he was with you, he did not have the radio. Y cuando él estaba con usted, tampoco no llevaba radio. No. And when he was with you, he did not have the binoculars. Y cuando él estaba con usted, no llevaba binoculares. No. No. And you don't remember if he did or didn't have a fanny pack with him when he was with you. Y usted no se acuerda si llevaba cangurera o no cuando estaba con usted. No. And you don't know what he's doing in this picture, correct? Y usted no sabe qué está haciendo en esta foto, correcto? Mm -hmm. No, I don't know. I don't have any other questions, Your Honor. Redirect from the state. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with the photo, Daniel, which is Defense Exhibit JJ. You see that on your screen still? Vamos a empezar con esta foto, Daniel, que es prueba de descargo JJ. ¿Usted ve la foto en la pantalla, señor? Sí. Yes. You have any idea when that photo was taken? ¿Usted tiene una idea sobre cuándo es que se tomó esta foto? No. It had been taken a day before, a week before, a month before, correct? You don't know. Could, if the interpreter may, could have been taken. Could have, yes, sir. Puede que se tomó la foto una semana, un mes, un día antes. No sabe. I don't know. All right, Daniel, I'm going to go back to almost the beginning. Um, this is, this environment is new to you, right? This courtroom is new to you. Muy bien, Daniel, este, voy a retroceder casi al principio. Este ambiente, este ambiente de una sala de tribunal es nuevo para usted, ¿verdad? Yes. I mean, we have a jury. We have a TV camera. And we have people in the audience all looking at you. O sea, hay un jurado, hay una cámara de televisión, hay personas en el público y todo el mundo está viéndolo a usted. Yes. And we're asking you questions. Would be a would it be fair to say a traumatic event in your life? Y estamos preguntándole cosas, preguntas sobre una, un evento traumático, si se puede decir, en la vida de usted. ¿Correcto? Yes. You testified earlier on cross-examination. Usted testificó antes en contrainterrogatorio que... That you heard the gunshots. Que usted escuchó los disparos. Yes. And it sounded to you like an AK-47. Y que esos disparos sonaban como este, disparos de una AK-47. Sí. Yes. Explain to the jury why an AK-47 is familiar to you, the sound. Explíquele al jurado por qué es que usted conoce el sonido de una AK-47. Porque he escuchado sonar la gente. <coughs> Perdón, la he escuchado que suena en, la, en las navidades y... Well, because I've heard them at Christmas and also, you know, with all of the fighting that's going on at the border, you hear them often. 
Do you remember on cross-examination being asked about legal and illegal entry into the United States? Do you remember those questions? ¿Usted se acuerda este, cuando le estaban haciendo uh, el contrainterrogatorio que le hicieron preguntas sobre entrada ilegal, legal a los Estados Unidos? ¿Usted se acuerda? Yes. Do you remember the question and answer relating to being deported if you went through the what we call port of entry through the legal process in the US? Usted se acuerda este de la la pregunta y luego la respuesta sobre este ser deportado si es que usted entrara por el uh, puerto legal de los Estados Unidos, puerto puerto de entrada, o sea, proceso legal en Estados Unidos. Yes. What deportation were you referring to? Cuando usted mencionó deportación, ¿a qué se estaba refiriendo? I don't understand. What country are you from? Usted es de qué país, señor? I'm from Honduras. Do you have legal status in the country of Mexico? ¿Tiene una situación legal en México? No. Were you concerned that if you were found out that you would be deported from Mexico back to Honduras? Estaba preocupado, usted, señor, si este, si que le iban a deportar de México a Honduras. What was his answer? Y la respuesta, señor. I was afraid. So it's a scary thing to be here testifying with the possibility that you may be deported back to Honduras upon return to Mexico. Objection leading. Sustain. Are you concerned about testifying here? Tiene, o sea, usted está preocupado este, uh, sobre dar testimonio aquí? Yes. Do you remember the questions on cross-examination about your prior conviction? ¿Usted se acuerda de las preguntas en contra, en, durante el contrainterrogatorio que tenían que ver con, sus conde, con condenas anteriores? Don't remember. Where you brought in marijuana and you were convicted in the United States for the transportation of marijuana. Cuando usted trajo marihuana a los Estados Unidos y lo condenaron este, aquí en los Estados Unidos por haber transportado marihuana. I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Sure. It, it, it's been a long day, Daniel. Do you remember the conviction you received for the importation of marijuana? I think you said roughly 2014. Creo que usted mencionó que más o menos el año que sucedió eso fue 2014. Yes. And the name you used, the name, name under the conviction, do you remember the name? Y el nombre que usted usó eh, para en esa, eh, en esa condena, ¿usted se acuerda del nombre? Sí. Yes. What was the name, Daniel? That... ¿Qué, ¿Qué fue el nombre que usted usó, señor Daniel? Daniel Alberto Ramírez Ruiz. Daniel Alberto Ramírez Ruiz. Ruiz, okay. Um, and have you ever hid that fact that you used that name? ¿En algún momento ha escondido el hecho de que usted usó ese nombre? Uh, no, hiding it, no. Ramirez is the only thing. The, Ruiz is not my last name. That name, Ruiz, comes from a Mexican ID that you received in Mexico. Ese apellido Ruiz viene de una identidad, algún tipo de identidad mexicana que usted recibió en México. Yes. And you're not disputing that the conviction in 2014 was you, are you? Y usted no está disputando que esa condena del año 2014 se trataba de usted, correcto? Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, the, the eight times, eight or nine times you were deported from the United States, what name do they attribute to you? 
de hecho, este, cuando usted fue deportado de Estados Unidos las ocho, nueve veces que usted cruzó, ¿qué nombre fue que usaron? Daniel Alberto Ramírez Ruiz. Daniel Alberto Ramírez Ruiz. And you've never disputed the fact that that was you. Y usted nunca ha disputado el hecho de que usted era esa misma persona. Sí, yo era la misma. I was that same person. Let me ask you about, there were some questions on cross-examination about payment, about coming into the United States. You testified that you paid I think on cross-examination, you paid each and every time. Usted testificó, creo, durante el contrainterrogatorio, que usted había pagado cada vez. Is that true? Es cierto. Sí, yes, I paid. I just, well, we just want to make sure we understand the payment. Nada más quiero estar seguro que todo el mundo entienda la cuestión del pago. Defense counsel asked you, and they used the number, I think, 10 times. That you crossed 10 times and you paid 10 times. Do you remember that? And of those eight or 10 times, did you pay cash every single time? Uh, not every single time because if they got me, if I got, if I was caught, an interpreter is going to ask for repetition. Cuando, si le agarraban, puede repetir, perdón. Si me agarraban, pues, pues, porque me agarraban, es que volví a repetir el video. Because if I was caught, then we were going to go back and, return, and repeat the same thing. We're going to use the word, you got a credit. Would that be... Vamos a usar la palabra crédito, o sea, le dieron crédito. Yes. So to you, you paid every single time. Así que para, según usted, usted pagó cada vez. Is that right? Cierto. Yes. I feel like vomiting. You want to take a moment? Quiere tomar un segundo, señor. Yes. Okay. Does he need, Daniel? Do you need to go to the bathroom? Señor Daniel, necesito usar el baño. Yes. thing is that my nerves are getting the best of me again. All right, the witnesses left the courtroom to uh, go to the restroom. Um, before I decide what to do next, did you all talk among yourselves about the start time that we talked about yesterday? Do you have a spokesperson or something? Or what do you, you want to keep going at 8.30? All right, that's what we'll do. Um, let's see. Council, why don't we jump on this?
buttons up. We're going to see how quickly the gentleman can return and what his condition is when he returns. We'd like to try to finish this witness today, uh, and therefore he can get on his way. Um, but if he's not feeling well enough to continue, then we'll break for the day. Anyone need to get up and stretch? You're welcome to do it. I'm going to do it. You can see my. Jump on this again. Hold on. So the prosecutor thinks he's got about 30 minutes of redirect questioning. And if that's the case, we'll be able to wrap this witness up, assuming he's able to go forward. So we'll see what's here he comes. Okay, good afternoon, sir. Muy buenas tardes, señor. Thank you for letting us know you were not feeling well. Gracias por decirnos que no se sentía bien. How are you feeling right now? ¿Cómo se siente ahora en este momento? Es que los nervios me están ganando, pues, porque estoy recordando lo que me pasó hoy. The thing is that my nerves are getting the best of me. I'm remembering what happened and... Well, the prosecutor, this gentleman here, thinks he has about 30 minutes more questioning for you. And then you would be done as a witness. You can either go forward today, finish it up today, if you feel well enough. But if you really don't feel well enough to feel like you're able to answer questions and understand the questions and articulate an answer, then we will recess for the day and come back tomorrow and you finish up your testimony tomorrow morning. But I'm leaving it up to you to tell us only you know how you're feeling. Let's go on. All right. Let's do that. Can, can you pull up Exhibit 17 on your thing? Daniel? Mr. Ramirez? Um, Daniel, but do you remember the questions asked by defense counsel about roads and the, 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 uh, the wash and seeing a road and seeing houses. Do you remember those questions on cross-examination? Daniel, ¿usted se acuerda esto que el abogado defensora le hizo unas preguntas sobre caminos, el arroyo, si usted vio unos caminos, si usted vio unas casas? ¿Usted se acuerda de esas preguntas en, durante el contrainterrogatorio? Yes. And do you remember counsel asking you a specific question from a transcript you had with 
Detective Ramirez in February. I mean, Rodriguez. Y usted se acuerda que la licenciada le hizo unas preguntas específicas sobre uh, la entrevista o, o la transcripción de una entrevista que usted tuvo con el señor um, Ramírez, no, I mean, Mr. Rodríguez, el señor Rodríguez, en el mes de febrero del año 2023. Yes. And those questions were sent around timing and what you saw when you saw it. Esas preguntas tenían que ver con el plazo de tiempo, cuándo es que usted vio y, y uh, ciertas cosas, ¿cierto? Specifically, do you have that? That I saw, like... Well, I'll ask the question. Yo voy a hacer la pregunta. Last question. Is Rodriguez's interview State Exhibit 17? I have a 17 labeled here. Just for us, just for us. Oh, this one doesn't come up for me either. That's not me. No. Okay. You want to see what she had on her computer? I was just going to follow along, but that's fine. I've got the transcript. That's fine. But fifty one's up on your screen, right, Daniel? Page fifty one. Puede ver este página cincuenta y uno en la pantalla de usted, señor. Yes. And you see the, the question and answers that starts off, I believe, around line 13 and goes down to about line 21. Do you see those questions and answers? que hay unas preguntas y luego respuestas empezando en el renglón 13 y luego este, uh, hay que bajar hasta como 21. Usted ve to, uh, esos, esas diferentes preguntas y respuestas. Yes. And you remember testifying on cross examine a bit. Uh, cross examination about that, correct? Y usted se acuerda que usted dio testimonio este durante el contrainterrogatorio sobre eso, correcto? Sí. Yes. I'm gonna go back to page 49 to give this some context. Can you pull up page 49? Quiero quiero regresar a la página 49 para dar conte algo de contexto sobre esto. And starting around line 13, I want you to read line 13, and I want you to. Look up when you're done reading through the end of that page. Quiero, uh, empezando eh, más o menos en el, el renglón 13, quiero que usted lea, este, empezando en el renglón 13 hasta el final de la página, y cuando usted termine de leer, quiero que me vea a mí. From 13 to where? To the end of the page. De, empezando en el renglón 13 hasta el final de la página. Then I'm going to ask you to read the next page, page Ahora 50. I'm going to ask you to read the next page, page 50. Página, página 50. And look up when you're done. Y quiero que usted este, busque para, eh, o sea, eh, levante la, la cabeza ya cuando haya terminado. Yes. A little bit more reading now to the page 51. I want you to read down to line 21. 
Hay, hay que leer un poquito más, por favor, si puede leer hasta um, el renglón 21, por favor. So that question on page, re referring to page 51, that question on line 16, that question on line 16. Entonces, este, la pregunta este, que se trató este, la, de, del renglón 16 en la página 51. Asking you about trees and fences and buildings. Preguntándole sobre cerca, cercas, edificios y árboles. Asking if you saw any. Preguntándole a usted si usted vio alguna cosa así. And your answer on line 20 was what? Y la respuesta que usted dio en el renglón 20, ¿qué fue la respuesta que usted dio? No. Are they referring to the shooting, page 49 through 51, or are they referring to when you're in the wash running away? Y... En es, o sea, du, en, durante las páginas 49 a 51 se están refiriendo a este, al, al tiroteo en sí o cuando usted está en el um, a, arroyo huyéndose. Cuando llegué a la, cuando lo, el tiroteo yo busqué a, a, a esconderme en el arroyo. It was uh, after the, with the shooting, what I did was I went to hide myself in the wash. And we'll talk about, you remember the questions about the horse? Ahora quiero hablar sobre este, el caballo. ¿Usted se acuerda de las preguntas que tenían que ver con el caballo? Hey, Council, I, mean, I know this has not been, this exhibit has not been admitted. Um, that's why you're not seeing it. No one's offered it and it hasn't been admitted. A lawyer can ask can show anything to a witness to try to get them to refresh their recollection. They're just trying to refresh their recollection. So, I mean, I, if I had a pen and I was trying to help you remember the name of a doctor and the doctor had given me the pen, I could show you the pen. Say, it doesn't have anything to do with anything, it's just a pen, but does that refresh your recollection? But counsel, I mean, for all practical purposes, the few pages that have been involved here with cross-examination or redirect, I mean, I think we practically read it word for word anyway. So if there's an objection, we won't do it. But I mean, why don't we just admit those pages at least, whatever happens to the rest of the exhibit, and show it to the jury? I've got no objection in pages 49 through 51. Is there any? I'd object on here, say, Your Honor. To pages 49 and 51. The, yeah, the objection is hearsay. All right. All right. They then uh, won't be admitted. Fine. All right, Danny, do you remember the questions on cross-examination about the horse? Entonces, Daniel, ¿usted se acuerda de las preguntas durante el contrainterrogatorio que tenían que ver con el caballo? Yes. And you, you had a good look at that horse on the day of the shooting, right? Y el día de los disparos, usted pudo ver bien al caballo, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. What color was the horse? ¿De qué color era el caballo? Colorado. Red. And then, was there any markings on the horse? Y el caballo tenía algunas marcas. En la frente blanca. White in its forehead. On its forehead. Daniel, I'm going to show you what's been marked as Government Exhibit 120A and 120B. Not to publish. Le voy a enseñar unas fotos, lo que son los elementos de prueba 120A y 120B. I'm going to object to the witness seeing that photograph at this time. It's, again, an unduly suggestive identification. Of? Of the horse. Oh. Overruled. Mm -hmm. 
And for the record, I'd say it exceeds the scope of cross-examination as well, Judge. Overruled. Do you see that picture on the screen, Daniel? Alcanza a ver esa foto y en la pantalla, Daniel. Yes. That's Government Exhibit 120A. Ese es el evento de cargo 120A. I'm going to show you exhibit, Government Exhibit 120B. Y le voy, a le, le voy a mostrar ahora el elemento de cargo 120B. Is both Government Exhibit 120A and B fair and accurate representations of the horse you saw on January 30th? Eh, los elementos de prueba A, 120A y 120B o, o son it, una representación justa y fiel del caballo que usted vio. Right, hold on a second. What Un was the, what was the Un It's leading, Your Honor. Overall, it's foundational. You can answer. What was your answer, Daniel? ¿Cuál fue su respuesta? Yes, that was the horse. Your Honor, move to admit Government Exhibit 120A and B into evidence. Mm -hmm. Any, ex any objections other than those pre already made? Just the same objections, Your Honor. All right. What are they again? 122? 120A and 120B. I'm sorry. 120A and 120B are admitted, and they can be published to the jury. That's 120A, right, Daniel? That's the picture of the horse you saw? Esa es la 120A, ¿verdad, Daniel? Es la foto del caballo que ahorita vio? Yes. Show you 120B. Esa es la foto 120B. That picture of the same horse? Es una foto del mismo caballo. Sí. Yes. Do you remember the examination questions asking you about whether or not the horse was shot and killed? ¿Usted se acuerda en el interrogatorio anterior las preguntas que le hicieron sobre que si el caballo le habían disparado o lo habían matado? Yes. Kim, I'm doing. PJ. PJ. I'm a, on your screen. It should be not for publication. On your screen, it should be. Um, a transcript of one of the interviews you done, you did that defense counsel asked you about. Do you see that on your screen? Aquí en la pantalla usted puede ver una transcripción sobre la entrevista de la que estaba hablando la abogada con usted. ¿Ve la transcripción ahí? Yes. This, and for the record, it's Government Exhibit 19. Es el elemento de carga 19. And can you... And do you see the question and answer starting on line 19? Usted ve ahí las preguntas y respuestas empezando en el renglón 19. Actually, on 18. Bueno, en el 18. And I'm going to read the, the question to you. And the horse, do you know what happened to it? Y le voy a leer la pregunta. Dice, y el caballo, ¿usted sabe qué pasó con él? And you see your response? Y alcanza a ver ahí su respuesta. Sí. Yes. Your response is, well, the horse, well, it dropped right, right there. I'm saying it dropped right there, too, because since he kept on shooting. Su respuesta dice, pues, el caballo, pues, ahí cayó el caballo. Yo digo que ahí cayó también, porque como él siguió disparando. Sí. Yes. And the officer responds, okay, and... Y el, y el agente dijo, ok, ¿y? And your response is, the horse was dead, comma, I think. It must be dead right there too. Y su respuesta fue, el caballo creo que estaba muerto. Ahí ha de estar muerto también. Creo. I believe, I thought. And on page 9... En la siguiente página, en la página 9. 
Hashem will go on page eight. Sorry, last question on page eight. La, Officer, la última pregunta en la página ocho, eh? Officer asks you, but you you don't know if if. Do you see that question or comment? Eh, dice, pero usted no sabe, pero usted no sabe si es que, ¿verdad? Ve ese ese comentario ahí. And it goes on to the next page. If the horse is dead. Pero luego sigue en la próxima página. And the officer asked, was it able to gallop off or... Do you see that? Y la pregunta dice, ¿y pudo salir galopeando o... And your, ¿Alcanza a ver eso? And your response was, it ran, limping, hobbling, you know... But the horse, he did shoot it. He must have shot it too because I saw the horse rear up backwards and then forwards. Y su respuesta fue, corrió, manqueaba, estaba como manqueando, pero el caballo, yo estoy segura que sí le dio, le debe de haber pegado también, porque el caballo yo vi cuando relinchó para atrás. Y luego para enfrente. Así contestó usted. Yes. Was that event chaotic? The shooting? El, ese momento de los disparos fue un momento muy caótico. Sí. Yes. And you're seeing a lot of things happening around you, right? Y usted está viendo que hay muchas cosas que están pasando a su alrededor, ¿verdad? Yes. And the horse, is the horse between you and where the shots are coming from? Y el caballo está entre usted y de donde vienen los disparos. Yes. But because you just saw Gabriel die, you don't know what happened to that horse. Objection leading. Sustained. Sustained. You don't know what happened to that horse. It's the same question, sustained. I'm just asking a yes or no. The objection is it's leading. You don't know what happened to the horse? What's not leading is what happened to the horse. Daniel, what happened to the horse, Daniel, if you know? Si usted sabe, ¿qué fue lo que le pasó al caballo? I didn't know because right next to the horse, that's where Gabriel fell. Do you remember the discussion questions about direction on cross examination? Se acuerdan las preguntas y la discusión que hubo en el contrainterrogatorio sobre direcciones? Yes. North, south, east, and west. Cuando hablaron de norte, sur, este y oeste. Yes. I just want to make sure we're crystal clear. When you're, when the shots are being fired, which direction are you going? Nomás quiero quedar, que quede claro como el agua. Cuando se empiezan, cuando empiezan los disparos, ¿en qué, a qué? ¿En qué dirección iba usted? Um, towards south. Ahead of us, towards the south. And what do you see south? As you're going south, what do you see in the distance? Y cuando usted va en dirección al sur, ¿qué es lo que alcanza a ver a lo lejos? The wall. And you're referring to the border wall. Y el muro se refiere al, al muro de la frontera. Al, yes. And as you're going south, and the shots happen, I want to use your right and left. As you're going south, which direction are the shots coming at you from? Right, right or left? Ahora, cuando usted va corriendo al sur. The objection asked and answered multiple Overall, times. It's, it's a redirect. You can answer on redirect. Cuando usted va corriendo al sur y oye los disparos, quiero que use sus manos y me diga. 
cuando usted va corriendo al sur, oye los disparos, ¿de qué lado veni venían los disparos? ¿De la derecha o de la izquierda? ¿De la derecha? Sí. From the right. Remember the questions about distance? Ahora, ¿recuerda las preguntas que le hicieron sobre la distancia? Distancias. Sí. Yes. What a meter was, right? Lo que era un metro. ¿Se acuerda que le preguntaron que si cuánto era un metro? Sí, pero como yo yes. no tenía tampoco, yo este, no tenía tiempo tampoco de, de tomar el tiempo. But I, also, I didn't have the time to take measurements. No, I'm, I'm not going to ask you about measurements. No le voy a preguntar sobre medidas, no se preocupe. In, in, in your estimate, Daniel, and we haven't talked about this, what's, in your estimate, what's the distance from where you're sitting to the end of the courthouse, courtroom here? What's the distance in meters? A ver, más o menos, y usted y yo no hemos hablado de medidas y de esto, pero dígame, más o menos, ¿cuánto calcula usted en metros? Que son de ahí de donde está usted sentado a donde se termina la sala de audiencias. En metros, ¿cuánto cree que es? About 10 meters. That's 10 meters? Son 10 metros. That's what, I, that's what I say, I don't know. Okay. And then, from the moment where you, were, you heard the shots to the wall, how far are you saying that is? Ahora, del, del momento en el que usted escuchó los disparos al muro, ¿cuán, ¿qué tan lejos dice usted que es? Dos canchas de fútbol por ahí. Pues es lo que yo tomé en cuenta, no sé. Like two football fields, that's what I figured, I don't know. Daniel, do you play football, soccer, do you play? Daniel, ¿usted juega fútbol, soccer? Yes. And you've run that football field. ¿Y usted ha corrido un campo de fútbol? Sí. Yes. Unless you're the goalie. A menos de que sea el portero. Right? ¿Verdad? Yes. So imagine running full length of the field and back. Can you imagine that for me? Ahora imagínense correr de un extremo del campo al otro. Y luego de regreso, imagínese eso. You can imagine that, Daniel? Se lo puede imaginar, Daniel. Pues es cansado, pero asustado y con miedo. <coughs> but, uh, well, well, it's tiring, but one when is tired and, and afraid is just one runs really fast. Sure, Daniel. I just, my, my question was, can you imagine doing one distance on the football field and then running back? You can imagine that. Está bien, pero la pregunta es nomás. ¿Usted se imagina correr de un extremo del campo al otro y luego de regreso? ¿Se lo imagina? Yes. Is that the distance from where the shots happened to the wall? Esa es la distancia de donde, de donde fueron los disparos hasta el muro. No, it was more. You have a hard time with distance and understanding measurements? Batalla un poquito con entender las distancias y las unidades de medida. Yes. Do you remember the questions on cross-examination about clothing? Ahora, ¿recuerda las preguntas que le hicieron en el contrainterrogatorio sobre la ropa? Yes. And when people... Counsel, stop for a second. Let's get on this. Everybody here? Here's another problem. Um, the jury may have questions for this witness. You know, if you take... If we break at 4.30, which I'm going to do, or five minutes after that, and the jury has questions and he doesn't come back, then we have a big problem.
I, I'm, I'm recessing at 4.30 or 4.35. So that's why I broke on right now, because if this jury has questions, I don't know if they have any questions. If they don't, there's no problem. But if they have questions, and we break then, and he doesn't come back, it's your, it's your, it's your decision, so... All right, we're back before the jury. Daniel, thank you very much. That's all the questions I have for you. Gracias, Daniel. Ya no tengo más preguntas para usted. Hold on. That's all? Not yet. Un momentito. Jurors, do you have any questions for the witness? Ahora, el jurado tiene preguntas. Back on the record. So, sir, we have a couple with questions from the jurors. All right. um, in your testimony, you originally stated that it was getting late when you crossed. But then you stated that you crossed at 12 o'clock. So which statement is accurate and what time was it when you crossed I think this is referring to crossing into the United States. Is that correct? Muy bien. Eh, al principio de su testimonio, usted dijo que ya se les estaba haciendo tarde para cruzar. Eso es para cruzar a los Estados Unidos. Pero luego dijo que cruzaron como a las 12. Entonces, ¿cómo que se les había hecho tarde? ¿Se les hizo tarde o cruzaron a las 12? Cruzamos a las 12 porque, la, porque se la estaba haciendo tarde porque el, el, los cruces este, para caminar esto ya era más, 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 
por el sol, todo eso, no lo... I um, it was getting late. Um, we crossed at noon at 12 and it was getting late for because the crossings, those, those are usually earlier because of the sun and all the walking. Um, another question. What t when Gabriel got shot, what time was it during the day when Gabriel said, I'm hit? ¿Qué hora era? Eh, cuando, cuando le dispararon a Gabriel, cuando Gabriel le, di, le dijo, me dieron, ¿qué hora era? I don't know the, I don't know the time exactly, but it was about 2.30 or 3 because the sun was already to the side. Um, there's a question by one of the jurors about the date of the, what was the date of the last photo provided by the defense? Uh, technology should locate this. And there's the reference, I think, I'm sure, to the photo that was identified as being the victim Gabriel in his clothing. Um, that day, I'm told by the, by the lawyers, will be provided foundation for that, information about the date of that photo, when it was taken, any other information about it, will be provided by another witness. So let's wait for that witness. All right, then um, the witness stated earlier today that during his his, the witness stated earlier today during his testimony that he jumped over the victim's body when he started to run. Yes. Was he wearing carpet booties? Can he tell us if the victim's head was to the right or to the left or head at his feet? Victim face up, yes or no? I would like to have the witness clarify this. Muy bien, Hace, en, durante su interrogatorio más temprano, el testigo dijo que había corrido, que había brincado por encima del cuerpo de Gabriel. Sí. Yes to jumping over the body of Gabriel's body. Eh, traía puestos los zapatos esos que le ponen el bajo alfombra para no dejar huellas. Esa es una pregunta. Not to the to the carpet booties. He was not wearing carpet booties. Um, la cabeza. Your Honor, this is the interpreter. In in the part of the question that says the head was it to the right or to the left, that is Gabriel's body. Well, it says to his head. To his right, to his right or left, or at his feet. Let's see. This is. Uh, Juror number 11. To the witness's head? Or? Cuando, cuando, cuando cayó Gabriel al piso, okay? ¿la cabeza de Gabriel le quedaba a la derecha de usted o a la izquierda? A la izquierda. To my left. Was the, And oh, then, ¿el cuerpo de Gabriel estaba boca arriba o boca abajo cuando cayó? Yes, when he fell, he fell like this, with um, facing up. But after that, I had to jump over him, and so I don't know what happened after that, because what I was thinking is that I had to save my, my own life. Yeah. Talking about the witness, the interview of the, this witness that took place at a hotel in Nogales, Sonora, did everyone who is speaking part of the conversation speak Spanish? And if not, who translated for Daniel? Um, or can he, does he know who translated for him? If someone had to translate. La entrevista esa que tuvieron en un, que tuvo usted en un hotel en Nogales, Sonora. ¿Te acuerdas? En esa entrevista... ¿Todas las personas que estaban ahí estaban hablando español o tuvo usted a alguien que le tradujera? No, español. No estaba Rodríguez y Barba. Uh, they spoke with, to me in Spanish. Uh, in Spanish, yes. Uh, the only people there were Rodríguez and Barba. All right, thank you. Um, any other questions from any other jurors for this witness? All right, seeing none, we hand the questions to the clerk. Now the lawyers are allowed to ask follow-up questions 
to the questions of the jurors. So I'm going to see if they have any follow-up questions. We'll start first with the state, Mr. Jetty. Mr. Daniel, okay. um, you've got no idea what happened. Do you have any idea what happened to Gabriel after you left? You ran away. Usted tiene idea de qué pasó con Gabriel después de que de que usted se fue? ¿Qué le pasó a él después de que usted salió corriendo? No, pues ya estaba aquí, ya estaba yo me vino mal la sangre con lo que yo iba así que me dijeron mi vida, pues ya no. Yo quería salvar mi vida y el caballo, el caballo seguía con la sangre y yo pues busqué el barranco. Uh, no, well, I saw the blood there, and, and I just saw that. I wanted to save my life. The horse was there. He was neighing, and then I just run. I just jumped to a cliff onto a wash. And just one more question. When you ran away and you looked back, you saw someone standing in the area where Gabriel was at, right? Ahora, una última pregunta. Cuando usted salió corriendo y luego se tuvo y volteó, Usted vio a una persona que estaba ahí cerca del cuerpo de Gabriel, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. No more, for, no more questions from the state. Any follow-up questions from the defense, Ms. Real Lincoln. quick. Did you tell Detective Rodriguez that you crossed the border and returned into Mexico at around 6 p.m.? Do you recall saying that to Detective Rodriguez? ¿Usted se acuerda si usted le dijo al detective, regresa, uh, detective uh, Rodriguez que usted... Uh, regresó a México como a las seis de la tarde. ¿Usted se acuerda de haberle dicho eso? Sí. Yes. When you met at the hotel in Mexico, who were all of the people who were at that meeting? Cuando este, se hizo la reunión en el hotel en México, ¿quién estaba? ¿Quiénes eran toda la gente que formaban parte de la reunión? El David. Y... y las dos hijas de, de, de Gabriel. David y Gabriel's two daughters. David, you mean David, who, David who? David, ¿y quién es el, qué es el apellido de David? Es el David el Cherry. The Sheriff, David. David, the Sheriff, I don't know. His, the don't sheriff, know his last name, no. The Sheriff and Gabriel's two daughters. El Sheriff y luego las dos hijas de Gabriel. And, yes, and Barbas. Anybody else? Alguien más. In the moment, no one else. Okay. You saw, when Gabriel fell, you saw his eyes roll back clearly and you knew he was dead, correct? Cuando este se cayó uh, Gabriel y usted vio que este se blanquearon los ojos, usted este, vio eso de forma clara y usted sabía que estaba muerto, correcto? Porque ya le estaba riendo sangre con mi because blood was coming out and he said I've been shot. You saw his eyes clearly. That was my question. La pregunta fue si usted vio los ojos de él claramente. Eso fue la pregunta. What I noticed was that they rolled back, the eyes rolled back into his head. I don't have anything else, John. Stand by. Count. Okay, everybody hear me? All right, uh, I'm going to recess for the day. Now, um, Mr. Jetty, we may have cut your redirect short, but I really wanted to be sure we got the questions of the, of the jurors in, just in case, as Ms. Hunley suggested, that uh, in the event that the witness does not come back uh, tomorrow. It's about 4.40 now. I'm gonna, as I said, I'm going to recess for the day. I'll leave it up to you. Do you want me to tell the reason? If you want to continue with your redirect tomorrow, I'll uh, instruct the witness that he's got to be back here. But I'll only do that if, if that's what you want me to do. No? So there's the witness. He, is he excused or is he just stepping down? I understand. I just want to... Okay. Anything else? 
All right. Um, we're going to uh, recess for the evening. Now, um, I'm going to talk to the witness a moment. You're finished for today. When, I, when, when we take a recess, you're free to leave. See, under subpoena. Hmm? Yes. All right, you got, you're still under subpoena, which is an order of the court for you to appear to testify. Uh, it, may be, it may happen that you need to be recalled as a witness. Right? And that's, if that's the case, you'd have to come, you'd have to come back. The interpreter is going to answer. Usted está bajo citatorio para estar aquí. Lo cual citatorio es como una orden judicial para que usted esté aquí. Puede ser que hoy ha terminado con el testimonio, pero como el citatorio sigue en dolor, puede que este vayan a llamarlo de nuevo para que regrese. So you're still under a court order to appear. Así que todavía hay una orden judicial que usted comparezca aquí. If that's communicated to you by the prosecutors, that you have to come back. Sí, en algún momento los fiscales le dicen a usted que necesita regresar. Do you have okay. any, any questions? ¿Tiene usted alguna pregunta para mí? Sí. Yes. No, este, la pregunta es, este, yo, este, yo aquí yo estoy... Este, este, como es, tengo un problema de que, pues, soy fuera de, de, de no soy mexicano, no. Well, my problem is that I'm not Mexican and I don't have friends. I don't have family. I don't have help of any way, in any, of any kind. Y pues yo quiero saber también este, que va a proceder después de I want to know what's going to happen after this. Those are all questions that I encourage you to direct to the prosecutors. Prosecutors are always responsible for all those type of communications with someone who's alleged to be a, wic a, a victim. Stand by. Any questions from the jury? 8.30 tomorrow morning, we'll resume testimony of starting with a new witness. Right. All right. We're in recess for the evening. We rise,